Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. My name is Jason and uh, you can get me on my website jasonburnspreacher.com and uh, we're going to have a short Bible study and uh, I think uh, if we can get it, yes. Just a short Bible study. Uh, this Bible study is for uh, the Street Preachers Study Group uh, and Evangelist Group. Uh, I'm trying to get people to meet on a Saturday morning to pray and to study together in Manchester. Please pray that God will bring evangelists and preachers together to study together, pray together <coughs> on a Saturday. So this is the, the Bible study. We're going through Colossians. And uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your grace. And Father, as we look at your word, we pray that you bless in your name and for your glory, Lord. Bless all the families and people who listen to your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> so, in Colossians chapter 1, it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ which are at Colossia, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Since we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and of the love which you have to all the saints. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherein you heard before in the word of truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in this world, and bringeth forth fruit as it doth also in you, since the day you heard of it, and knew of the grace of God in truth. As you also learned of Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a fellow minister of Christ, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. So, we're looking at the book of Colossians, uh, Bible study. Um, so this is the first Bible study in Colossians, and we'll, we'll go through uh, Colossians over the next few weeks. Uh, Colossians was written around right about the 60s, uh, 60 AD. Um, Douglas Moo is one scholar that would advocate that, and Dr. Bob Huckley. Uh, those are scholars that would advocate uh, Colossians was written in the 60s. Uh, Colossians was a very uh, prosperous place because it had these springs water, where there was lots of water, which was used uh, as a as a place of making dye, so there was minerals mixed with, um, dyes mixed with uh, the water and they were able to make these dyes and to give uh, the, the, the wool of the sheep different colour and uh, so they became quite an industrial prosperous place, uh, Colossia, but in the time of the Apostle Paul it was a, a little bit in decline. Um, so let's look at verse 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. The word apostle means apistello, which is um, one sent or ambassador. And you can read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, and 1 and 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. And all of them, uh, Paul mentions his title, that he is an apostle. And we must take the Apostle Paul's ministry seriously because he was chosen of God to be one of the main apostles. Very often today, many people, uh, and many Christians don't accept everything Paul teaches. And if you don't accept everything Paul teaches, you're not really accepting uh, somebody who Christ our Lord chose to lead his, his church. Um, so, you know, first question that you could ask is, do you honour and respect the Apostle Paul and his ministry? Number two, um, do you work together with your fellow brothers and sisters in ministry? You look at verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, Timothy, our brother. You know, uh, Timothy and Paul, Paul together, they work together. And you can read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1. Philippians chapter 1 verse 1, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 1, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 1. These are verses which show Christians, Paul and Timothy and others, working together, pulling together. There will be no blessing unless you work together and pull together. 
If you have an ego where you want to be the top person, if you have an agenda where you want to do your own thing, well, in the end, you're going to weaken people's ministries because you're not working together. And you're going to affect the Lord's ministry in that area. Uh, verse 2, it says, To the saints and the faithful brethren in Christ Jesus, which are at Colossia. Uh, the next question is, number one, do you, do you honour the Apostle Paul? Number two, uh, do you work with your fellow brothers and sisters? Number three, are you part of a family? The family of God, are you part of the family of God? It says, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ. The word saints is plural, not just singular. It is mentioned in the Bible, saint, as in singular, a few times. But most of the time when the word saint is used, it's plural, saints. And when you believe in the Lord, you become part of a family. You're part of a family. Now you might say, well, they've rejected me or they don't like me or whatever. It doesn't matter. You're still part of a family, a wider family, the wider family of God. So are you part of that family? Are you involved in that family? Um, so many people today stay away from church, stay away from the people of God. And, um, and it's not wise because you, you, you've been engrafted into the, the church. You've been engrafted into a family. You're part of the family. If you believe in Jesus, you're part of the family of God. And they are your family and, and, and you are their family. And you need to be uh, together. And so are you associating? Are you involved? Are you with a family, the family of God? Then it says, uh, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are, but it says, and faithful brethren in Christ. The faithful Greek there has the idea of loyalty on trustworthiness. Are you loyal and trustworthy? Are you a person that will stick at what you said you'll stick at? Are you a person that will continue to stick on and plod on um, in ministry and service for God? Then it says, uh, To the saints and faithful brethren in Christ Jesus, which are at Colossia, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace. Grace is undeserved mercy. Grace comes by faith. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Verse 3, are you thankful? Not only, question, do you know the grace of God? Do you understand that you're saved by grace? Very often we beat ourselves up. We're full of guilt or we're struggling with issues of the past and we beat ourselves up. Don't you realise you're forgiven, it's gone. Very often we try to mould people in our image, let them be. They're, they're saved by grace, not by your cultural expression of Christianity. They're not saved by that. They're saved by following Christ and they're saved by grace. Verse 3, are you thankful? We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. We give thanks. Are you thankful for what God is doing in your life? Uh, what, what God has done in your life? Verse 12 Colossians 1.12 Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. They're saints, plural. But he's thanking the Lord for what he's done in their lives. You could read Colossians 3.15. Uh, Colossians 2.7, sorry, Colossians 2.7 Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding here, here, therein with what? Thanksgiving. Chapter 3, verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to be to, to, to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. We need to be thankful, thanking for the, the Lord what he's done in our lives, thanking him for his goodness and love in our lives. Then if you go to verse 4 and 5, 1 Colossians chapter 4 and 5. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints. For the hope which you, is laid up for you in heaven. Wherein you heard before the word of the truth of the gospel. Which is come unto you as it is in all the world. Bringeth forth fruit as it doth also in you. Since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love 
which you have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherein you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Faith, hope and love. Are we growing in faith, hope and love? Are we increasing in our faith, increasing in our love, increasing in our hope? When Nabil Qureshi died, which I'm going to make a video about, when Nabil Qureshi died, he said he wanted his legacy to be love. Are we growing in love? Are we becoming more loving? And uh, I'm going to leave it there. There's, there's more that I could, you could read more Corinthians 13, Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23. But that's just a simple little Bible study for street preachers and evangelists just to encourage us in the Word of God. Every Saturday, or some Saturdays, we'll, as, as time permits, we'll organise these meetings to pray together, study together, and we're going through Colossians at the moment. I hope that's been a blessing to you. So let's pray and uh, ask God to bless those words. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. And Father, I pray that this Bible study would bless people, it would encourage people, it would help people. And uh, I just pray it would minister to people, Lord, and, and bless them. That they might know your grace, they might know your love, they might know your blessings. In Jesus' name and for your glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Study the book of Colossians from time to time. In the next few weeks, we'll be looking, uh, going through a, a, a number of verses each week. And we'll be going in depth, all right? That's just a little uh, taster of what we're going to get into in the next few weeks in Colossians. So you can follow me through that. And I'm sure that it'll be a blessing as we pray about that. So thank you for listening and God bless you.